hello, welcome back to my channel. I'm Miss Kafwe, if you're new to my channel. And today's topic will be, I don't want to say 10 things, but these are things I've learned in my 28 years of life. If you don't know, I'm turning 28 this Saturday. Actually today, I went for a photo shoot session in preparation of my birthday and the pictures came out so nice. I can't wait to receive them. But anyway, these are like the things I've learned in my 28 years of life. The first thing is, ladies, put yourself first. My dear, put yourself first. Let me tell you something. Men always put themselves first. Never fail to put yourself first. Never fail to put yourself first. Always put yourself first. So what I mean by that is if, you, if you're in a relationship, right, and you get this job, most ladies will tend to, and the, maybe the job offer is in maybe in another county or another state. If maybe you're watching this from the United States, but yeah, like it's, a, it's in a far off place. The only reason you, you can not go for that job, let it not be a man. My dear, never miss any opportunity for no man. And I'm telling you this, never do that. Let me tell you, if that man gets an opportunity like that, he won't even think twice about you or even those kids. He will go. So I'd advise you to do the same. The second thing I've learned in my 28 years is love yourself. This year I've learned a very important lesson. I made sure I won't miss any photo shoot because of my weight or because I'm, I have a tummy or a T.O. Oh, I'm waiting for the day I'll have a flat tummy to wear this dress. Oh, I'm waiting. Yeah, as I was saying, please learn to love yourself. Like, no one else will, will appreciate you. So learn to love yourself in any situation that you are in. Whether you're broke, whether you are happy, whether you're fat, whether you're ugly, whether any bad situation you can think of, like when you're at your lowest or when you don't feel like you can match up to the task, please learn to love yourself at that point. Like that is where you need to love yourself more. So I decided even if I added a little bit of weight, that won't stop me from going for the shoot. So I decided to go. And I went, and the pictures were amazing until I asked myself, why, why do you love yourself at all stages in your life? At the end of the day, you need you more than you need anyone. Another thing, point number three is, please take care of yourself. Because I saw somewhere, I can't take credit of, for this, but I saw a quote that said, take care of yourself because if anything happens to you, the world will move on. The world will move on. And that really struck me. Please, take care of yourself. No one gives a shit about us or you or anyone. Please take care of yourself. Another thing is... Um, another thing is, please, when it comes to dating, ladies, date up. That is what I've learned. Date up. Trust me, never date a man who has not figured out his shit yet. Because let me tell you, the moment that man figures out his shit, he will resent you for being there when things were not okay. So please, love yourself, date up. Please don't, don't, don't date the potential of a man. Let me tell you, men don't think like us. Men never think like, Oh, oh she's fat. I can get her a trainer. And some in a good diet, and she'll be a bad bitch. No, men don't think like that. In fact, if he's if you're not what he wants, next, like that is the same mindset you should be having. Ladies, learn to go through these men very quick. If someone is not offering what you want, X, X, please learn to do that. Point number five take time for yourself. Isolation brings a lot of discover comes a lot of self discovery. 
like isolate yourself that's when you can hear the inner voice in you like that's when you can listen to your wants that's when you can listen to what you really need in your life like for me when i self isolated the whole of last year i learned that i learned very many things about myself and i also learned that i needed to up my game when it came to youtubing i actually did a lot of research and yeah that's that's why i'm making videos right now and i'm i've waited all year to do this by the way and i'm so i'm so excited about this danny so isolate yourself you'll, you'll discover what you like and what you don't like take time for yourself that time is very healthy whatever that time looks to you it might be different for me i had to take a whole year for me i have to take a whole year to deal with things and to point myself so that i can be a good individual even in my in what i do like so that i can be me i can be the whole of me so take time for yourself like and that also applies to dating like if you're from a toxic situation please take time for yourself heal because let me tell you something you attract what you are if you're broken you attract broken men if you're happy you'll attract a happy individual like it's the law of attraction uh, so basically take time off for yourself and don't feel guilty about it don't feel guilty about it like if you even if you have kids I, i'm not saying neglect your kids but take time for yourself so that you can be like a whole individual like you can be fulfilled you can be yourself more you can be a blessing to those who are around you so another thing i've learned this year is learn to say no i've had a problem of overextending myself to people who who are there to just like people who who know you are a good person and they just keep you around like yeah i've been overextending myself i've been i've been the kind of friend who is a real friend and then i turn when i turn my back i realize how i've had fake friends so please take time for yourself and please learn to say no learn to say no learn to say no so another thing is oh, another thing i've learned now that i'm turning 28 is 99% of your friends are not really your friends and i'm saying this like this actually makes me sad cuz i don't know i i i i i have never been a fake friend to anyone is for me it's either i'm either your friend or not your friend it's there's no in between about that so i've realized like i came to the realization like i've never had a real friend in my life and i'm saying this on god if you're watching this i've never had a real friend in my life I came to realize that the other day and it was actually very sad. Like so please please vet your friends. Vet your friends and ensure like you have the right people in your circle. Cuz some people like they smile on your face but they can't wait to take your place. Like please be careful about these snakes. Don't be a friend to a viper. Please be careful. Another thing is vet men properly like take your time before giving access to someone take your time like take your time to understand who he is what are his beliefs what are his morals like take your time take your time no rush there's no, there's no need for you to rush into something you'll regret take your time and put yourself like love yourself like men can smell when you love yourself if you don't love yourself you'll attract the men who also don't love themselves and those type of men will won't love you the way you want to be loved by the girl so put yourself first my dear anyway something else i've learned is invest in yourself invest in yourself by that i mean like if you have a passion maybe your passion is okay for me it's youtube i had to invest in this sound set everything camera what 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 invest in yourself and don't feel guilty about it. let me tell you something if you invest in yourself other people won't have a problem in investing in you for example if it's a business let me give you a very simple example 
most of you watching here are parents, if I'm not wrong. So imagine you took your child to a school that is charging maybe 50,000 and the school um, is dilapidated, like it's not in the best condition you would imagine a school charging 50,000 is. Will you pay for that, please? Will you pay? Will you pay considering like the classes are, are, are muddy and they're charging 50,000? Why? Why wouldn't you pay? Because the school has not invested in itself. But here comes like a good school. You find the school is well, is neat. The teachers are good. Like the environment is good for your children. And they ask you to pay that 50,000. You'll pay without hesitation. Why? Because the school has invested in itself. It's the same way with us. Like you have to invest in yourself. Otherwise, people and brands and whoever won't take you seriously if you don't invest in yourself. But that is not to discourage those who are just starting. If you're just starting out, start with what you have. Don't, you'll scale up as you go. So that was all I learned. And okay, mm, let me highlight one of the best moments this year. Mm, one of my best moments this year was I've met, I've met some pretty amazing people. Like I've met some, I've made uh, some good friends, but we're still in the vetting process for those friends. So yeah, I've met some pretty good people. Um, I got. I got to work and what else has been the best moment? Mm, surviving co-parenting. That has been also the best moment. Another thing is being at peace mentally, like having peace of mind. That is actually, that is one of, that is number one for me in 2023. As I turned 20, that is the best. I've attained peace of mind. And another thing is mm, I've met some pretty good people this year i don't want to go into details i'm sure you can fill in the dots but yeah so that was it for this video and i hope to see you in the next one so bye